Now that the Australian Open is done and we look forward to the next couple of events because there are some huge events on the WTA, some new events that have been upgraded to 1000 status as well. So it gets really, really hectic in the next couple of weeks. Let's go have a look at the big five players that I've picked to keep an eye on their schedule over the next few weeks. So here are the players that I picked. Sviontek, Sabalenka, Goff, Rabakina, and Naomi Osaka, who of course is making her comeback. Now next week, the 5th of February, we're expected to see Rabakina play because of course she did lose early at the Australian Open. So looking to get into some form really quickly. Osaka's also expected to play that event, but the other three are not playing until later in the month, so they won't be in Abu Dhabi, which is a 500 event. Then we go to Qatar, which is a 1,000 event. Now, it used to be every second year it would alternate with Dubai, but this time it's been upgraded as a permanent 1,000 event for every single year from now on. So that's where we're expected to see everybody. Sviontek, Sabalenka, Goff, Rabakina, and Osaka. It is a 1,000 event, and it's also, I think, mandatory. So everybody has to play that event unless they have some reason not for playing, like an injury. And then on the 19th, in Dubai, we got back-to-back -back 1,000 events. And again, everybody's expected to play that one because it is another mandatory event. So back-to-back -back 1,000 events, it kind of feels like a slam. They're only going to be a week long, so they're not going to be those two-week events that we have in March. But it's going to be a hectic couple of weeks in the Middle East for this new double 1,000 event that goes back-to-back. Then at the end of February, we have the San Diego Open and a tournament in Austin. Now, at this point, we don't know who's going to be playing those events. There is no entry list for those, but you'd expect that after two weeks of craziness in the Middle East, most of these players won't be playing that event unless they really need some form going into Indian Wells and Miami. There it is. That is the schedule for the next month, I guess, of the tour. And with those 1,000 events, those mandatory 1,000 events in both Qatar and Dubai or Doha and Dubai, it's going to be really, really crazy to see because this is the first time we've had both of those tournaments with a 1,000 status. They're going to be expended draws as well. They're going to be 56 player draws. So big, big tournaments expected everybody to play as well. Whereas back in the day, or last year, I should say, we had Doha as a 500 and Dubai a 1,000. And then they'd alternate between the two every other year. So now it's a little bit easier to understand for the fans, but it's a lot more work for the players. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most excited to see back on court? Obviously, I'm excited about Sabalenka. I want to see what she does straight after the Australian Open. If she can continue that form going into the Middle East. Also want to see how Rabakina bounces back from a, and, and Sviontek really, from a bad Australian Open. You know, they both lost really early, but let me know down in the comments below who are you most excited to see in February. It's going to be a crazy couple of weeks.